Hey there, my name's Chris Winter, and in this video, I'm gonna share with you some of the best free Shopify themes for this year. Now, themes are super important because they are essentially the way that your website looks, and if you get a good theme, it can really make a big difference with the way that your customer perceives your website. Now, of course, some themes do cost a fair bit of money, and I know a lot of you guys might be starting on a shoestring kind of budget, so this is why I'm gonna be listing out some of the best free sh themes, uh, best free themes, sorry, uh, and I'll also make a video on the best paid themes as well if you'd like to see that as well and also guys i've got a little present for you for watching this video i'll put a link to the 25 best free shopify apps that you need to add to your next shopify store these can really help increase the amount of sales and money that you can make from your store that list is totally free and if you want to get it i'll put a link right underneath this video and you can check it out but anyway let's now start talking about some of the best free shopify themes for this year all right, so let's get started. And the first theme that I wanna share with you is called Narrative, and it's a beautiful theme. And in fact, I think it should be probably not a free theme because the quality, quality that you're gonna be getting with this theme is absolutely mind blowing. So as you can see, we have a nice hero image at the top here, and we even have slight like kind of movement effects at the bottom here. As I scroll my mouse, you can see that we have these different menus here. If I click on this, you'll actually see that the background changes and it's just a really subtle kind of uh, you know movement which really catches your eye and you might be tempted to click on there at the top here we have a really nice logo and then we have a hamburger menu here which we can click and you'll see that this will open up and again we've got some really nice clean and subtle effects if we want to check out any of the menu items but let's scroll down and take a look as you can see, again, we really do have these kind of small effects in this narrative theme that really do just kind of catch your eye and look really nice. And what I really like about this theme again is that they've gone with subtle designs. So, you know, we have a white background here, but then right here we have a slightly gray background, but it's enough to kind of be super clean, but also to stand out. This theme here also supports video. So if you want, you can have, you know, like a, a little bit of text here and then click on play. And what it's gonna do is pop open a YouTube video, which looks really well, which looks really good. And it's also super fast to load. We can pause that and then scroll down. Again, we've got these nice subtle effects and these are all gonna be uh, sections. So super easy to add if you want to. Now, as we go down in this theme, what I really like about it is that we're gonna get start getting some kind of parallax effects. As we scroll down, we have some testimonials here. Again, some more subtle effects. And this is really where I think this theme looks awesome. If we scroll down here, I'm gonna be scrolling with my mouse and you can actually see that this left image here stays on this side and you've got this choose your color and then on the right here, we have our products which scroll up and down and it looks amazing, have a look. As I scroll, the background changes color smoothly and the products change as well. This just looks incredible because let's say we're up here and we're just scrolling really quickly. What is actually gonna happen is that this is where we're gonna to come to and it just looks incredible, especially if you've got a product, uh, you know, that's maybe a little bit uh, higher in value. I think that this website is gonna be perfect for this. So, you know, this kind of reminds me of something that maybe Nespresso would have for their website. Uh, obviously this is a, the demos for coffee, maybe that's why, but it really does scream high class. We have a section here, which is gonna allow you to pretty much just have your product on display. We've got some variables here, which we can change. And as we change these variables, you can see that the image on the left here, and of course the pricing and stuff changes as well. You can also change the voltage. And then let's add this to cart and see what happens. So the it allows you to view the cart and we have a slide out cart on this theme here. We can close that and scroll down. And here is just the footer menu. Let's take a quick look at some of the pages on this theme. You can go to an About Us page and we'll see how they do that. So again, it's relatively basic, relatively clean, nice large images. We'll look at their products page. Again, super clean. Let's take a look at this one. And this is how they display their images on a products page. So whereas most Shopify sites will generally have an image on the left here, they've gone for one large image. And then if we go down, we've got the title, the price with the uh, discount, 
and then you can add your cart on the left here. So it is definitely different. And this is another thing that I really love about this theme is that you can have more images. It's a very image focused website, but it's actually super quick. This looks fantastic because rather than having, you know, a normal slideshow, which you're going to be having very small images on the left hand side. If we go down here, you can see that we have some really lovely images and we can obviously click on these and get a full on slideshow. This is a beautiful theme. This one, of course, is called Narrative and I'll put a link in the description if you want to check it out. Now, I don't want to just do Shopify made themes uh, because I think that that's not going to be doing justice and I want to share with you all of the best free themes. This one here is called Star from Outlane and it's a fantastic theme, really, really good. They do have a premium theme and they also have it in free as well, which is really cool. All they're going to do is just have their little logo at the very bottom of the footer. But let's take a look at Star because this one here is probably one that I would recommend for a lot of people because it's just such a versatile theme. So again, we start up here with a nice hero image, which really does set the scene. You've got a standard menu up here. And of course, all of these websites are going to be responsive. So you can see as I scroll this in, the uh, menu changes up here to a hamburger menu. We've got a nice pull out menu right here. And let's scroll down and take a look at what we get. Again, this is super clean. You've got a rich text section here with your button. But what I really like is if we scroll down here, we have a really nice way of showing off their products. Rather than, you know, having just products in kind of random order, what they've done is they've made everything really nice and level. And what's really cool is if you hover over these, you can actually get the second product image as well, which looks super nice. So again, this would just be a section which you can change. And then if we scroll down, we have a really nice category section. So this is going to be uh, for your collections, essentially. And you can see that we have super nice way of viewing this. I really like this theme because it's very, very kind of uh, ordered and it's very clean. If we go down, we have a background image section here where you can put some text and a button. And then you can also, again, have, you know, show off your deals, which would just be a basic section. They've also got a super nice blog section, which we'll take a look at in a sec, but let's take a look at what it looks like if we have an image in the product. So we'll click on this one. We'll take a look at this backpack. And again, we've got a really nice large image here on the left. I'm not sure what font they're using, but it's super nice. I think this might be Mully, which is one of my favorite fonts. We've got a variant here. Let's see if that changes the image. Yep, it does. So we can click on there. It's even got a nice little tool tip here. We can scroll down, got more photos here and we've got a related product section right here which looks like it's going to be built into the theme which is actually really good because I'm sure a lot of you know that uh, this is sometimes a added feature which you might have to do with an, a plugin or a app but it's good that it seems to be built in you know I think this app uh, this theme here would work really well for drop shipping so if you're thinking about doing drop shipping this one here would work perfectly let's add it to the cart we'll do this one here and we'll see what it does so we've got a cart here on the right Pull out cart. It's not as nice as the other one, but it's pretty good. And it probably works really well. Yep, got some Ajax uh, changes there. Let's take a look at the catalog, see how they display it. So you've got a little uh, collections top image up here, which is always good. Again, really nice with the items here. Let's take a look at the best sellers. Wow, they really do have a lot of different, uh, you know, tags and things like that that you can change. So let's click here and see what happens. So if we go to home and then change it to candle, there we go we can click there. And again, it is super nice. This one, let's take a look at their blog, see how they've done with this blogs. Pretty good. Click on this, take a look. That's nice with the image at the top there. And then they've got comments and everything all done. So yeah, this is a really nice uh, one called Star from Outlane. Again, I'll put a link in the description box below. So next one is called Venture. And they have a few different, uh, you know, designs on this one. But the one that I wanted to look at was the outdoors one because it caught my eye. So this one here is going to be a great theme if you have a larger catalog. So let's say you might be selling more than say 10 items. Uh, if you're maybe a store or you want to get into the world of, you know, selling more things, maybe you're going to be drop shipping a large amount of stuff. This one could be really good for you. So 
Again, this has got kind of a more old school feel, like more of like a, you know, Walmart or Amazon kind of feel. We do have this top slider up here, which we can change, of course. And we do have some nice subtle text, which moves up. So if we go down, you can see that we have this here, which are gonna be your collections. So we've got accessories, backpacks and clothing. And then here we have a few of your collections and some of the products. I really like how this is set out. Got tents and then you've got some more here. Now I think search is gonna be a big deal in this one because when you do have a larger catalog, it's really important to have a good search function. So let's use the search up here. We'll type in tent and see what, how it shows it. So it really does work well with the search. And again, this is really neat in the way that it's done. And of course you can change these colors if they're not gonna work for you. Let's take a look at their backpacks and see how this is gonna show up. Again, it's definitely gonna be for a website which has a lot of products because otherwise it's gonna look really quite, quite bare. Let's see how they show a product. So yeah, it really does have that kind of, you know, Amazon-y or, you know, Walmart or something like that. This would work perfect if you've got a store similar to that. You can change the color, go down. Now it's definitely not as flashy as the last two things that we've seen, but I think it's gonna work really well. Let's add it to the cart and see what we get. Do we get a pop-out one or no? Looks like we're just gonna get a standard cart. Again, this is going back to that kind of standard you know, theme. It's not too flashy. There's not too many animations and things like that, which is probably good for quite a lot of people. And then obviously you can check out there. Honestly, not too much more to show on this one. If you're looking for a theme that's gonna work well for a lot of items, uh, you want it to be really good for like maybe a corporate kind of look. Uh, if you've got, you know, selling multiple things with multiple categories. One thing I did want to show you is the menu here. This is fantastic. This is often a, uh, you know, a premium feature, uh, having these menu items with images. So often if you get a drop down menu, it's just going to be text like this. But this one here has these really nice images, which you can hover over and obviously take a look at. So again, really nice free theme. This one here is called Venture. I'll put a link in the description for that one. So next up is for going the opposite way if you've got a one product website that you wanna have. So this one's called Jumpstart. The way that they've kind of promoted this one is for like a Kickstarter kind of thing. So if you've got this one product and you wanna get people to either, you know, back it or though you wanna buy it, this one's gonna be perfect. So again, super clean. We're gonna be going for that kind of minimalistic and Apple look. Uh, you've got some text here that you can change. You've got an image. And of course you've got this video which comes up in a light box and you can see that we've got the image and the video right there, which is actually perfect. So we'll close that. Nice and quick though, when you can see that to open the video, which is actually really good. So if we scroll down, we have this crowdfunding uh, tracker. So again, it really is targeted towards crowdfunding, but you could definitely use this if say you were gonna be selling like a journal, uh, you, you're gonna be selling maybe a piece of jewelry and it was just gonna be one or two products. This is gonna be perfect for that. These are some of your sections. So again, super clean, heavily image inspired. And if we bring this one in, we'll see the responsive nature of it. Again, it's gonna be really nice with that responsiveness. The menu up here pops out. Let's go down again. Really quite a basic theme, but it does work well. You've got your stay up to date and um, subscribe. Here's some text columns with icons. So this is gonna be, you know, saying the features of the product that you've got. And we've got some images here. Pretty basic really, but I do quite like it. You've got FAQs because again, this is really important if you are going to be having like a Kickstarter or you've just got that one product. Things like asking questions about shipping or how it works. Really nice that this is built in. And then you've got some news, which again is really important. If people are going to be backing your product, they will want to know about it. Let's click on one of these and see what happens. That is really clean here. You can scroll down. Again, it's just a basic blog, but it does work well. Let's go to features. And what it's actually done here is probably, yeah, just done a one page link. So if we go to the features, it's just gonna take you all the way down. That was a nice menu that came up here. Let's see what happens when we buy this. So you click on buy, and I think it's gonna take you to a separate page. So it is kind of a one page theme, but it does have a few extra pages. So. Really clean, you can change the color obviously. Change the quantity. Again, a super basic product page. 
let's add it to the cart, see what happens. There we go. So there you go, that was Jumpstart. Really good if you've just got one product. And again, super free. Next up is Debut. This is the one that's gonna come with most of your uh, Shopify installs. It's gonna be pre-installed. I just wanted to quickly show this one to you if you'd never used the Debut theme. Again, it's pretty basic, but it is really nice. It's not my favorite free theme uh, that you could use. Brooklyn is, which is what I'll show you next time. Uh, but this one's actually got a few nice little features. I don't particularly like the text on this. It's a, a, uh, a serif font rather than a sans serif font, but it's totally up to you and very easy to change. You've got the menu at the top here. And what essentially this theme is going for is having an image on the side and then some text. Image on the side and then some text, and then you brings it down you can have your product on the first page. So if you just wanna have a one page theme, super easy, you can add it to the cart. And this one here has got a slightly different um, cart actually. It doesn't open up completely. Uh, it comes from the top. Let's go down, we've got testimonials, just some basic images. This is how it does its collections. Let's take a look at what it looks like if we go into a product page. Again, it's not the most beautiful theme. I think there are definitely other ones which you could choose, but if you want to get something up and running super quick, uh, this is not a bad theme for that. We do also have some recommended products, which is always nice to see. And then let's just quickly look at the news section, a basic blog section. I think this one's an all right theme, not gonna be my, uh, my number one that I'm gonna choose, but if you like it, it's good for you. Now I do really like this theme. This is called Brooklyn and this is what I do most of my Shopify demos on. Hopefully you've watched my Shopify like demo and tutorial. Uh, if you haven't, check out my channel. But Brooklyn's great because it is just super clean. It's got big images and it works really well. It's very fast. So we've got this big hero image up here. You can obviously change the uh, slideshow. Then you've got good text. If we scroll down, Again, this really uh, heavily relies on sections. You can have your featured collection, which is nice here, and then products, and you can do the newsletter. Now, this does possibly look a little bit kind of raggedy because it's just throwing all different things in. You can actually make it look very, um, you know, neat if you want it to. So if we go to the collections, you can actually see that they've got it in the same kind of way. Let's look at one of the products. Just a t-shirt. I like it how they do this with the uh, sold out items. And I wanna show you one that has multiple images because they do it in a really nice way on this one. Yeah, so we can see it here. So rather than having the thumbnails with smaller images at the bottom, what actually happens is if you scroll, this here stays put on the right and your images nicely move on the left. So you can see that that scrolls down like that. And then once it gets to the bottom, they move together. So this is really nice here. Let's add this to the cart and see what it's gonna be like. We've got a nice cart here. And we've got a good search feature. So let's do um, hat, see if anything comes up. There we go. And there's a cat. And as you can see, if we click on the variants, it does change them there. So this is definitely a theme that I would recommend if you uh, are interested in getting you know, a very easy theme to start with. And I've made tutorials on this theme, so if you do wanna check them out. Uh, one other thing I did wanna show you with this theme is that I'm pretty sure that they will have it on this, but do you see that this logo here is black? Now, if we click this and go home, on this home page, the logo is actually white and you can see it's actually a logo. What I really like about the Brooklyn theme is that they give you the option of having two logos. So one for the uh, the hero image on the homepage, which is obviously gonna have a darker background, so you can have a white logo. And then if we go to any other page where it's a white background, you can change it so you can have a darker logo. So for example, they've gone black here. Small things like this, but on a free theme, that's a really nice touch. Another app, uh, another thing that I really like is called Boundless. I'm gonna show you the vibrant one here. This one's super nice if you've got maybe, you know, a store with maybe, you know, five to 10 products, not too many products, but it's really cool because it's it's got like kind of a, uh, a hip kind of vibe. You've got the menu down here rather than at the top. You can obviously have it up here as well, but I like it that they've done it at the bottom. 
you've got it a, uh, a rich text section here. And as you can see, rather than having, you know, three or four items on the rows here, they've actually just got two. So you've got larger images and they're using the whole of the uh, browser to show this off. So again, this isn't gonna be great if you've got 100 products in your inventory, or if you've got one product, this is gonna be great if you've got, <clears throat> you know, maybe 10 different products. So let's go down, have a look at this. Really nice way of showing it off, super clean again. And as you can see that that menu that we had at the top here is now going to become the top menu and it actually looks really nice so let's click on one of these bikes and see what we're going to be getting so this here is the product page you've got the standard image here and then another featured image here you can change the size you've got your text here and again like that uh, one of the, the first things we saw, you do have a lot of large images here. And this is one of my favorite new features of Shopify sites is having a big, large gallery of images where you don't actually have to click on anything. They're just there. It's a great way of showing it off and it adds a lot of color to the website. It really does look fantastic. Let's add this to the cart and see how it turns out. There we go. And let's see if they have a blog. No blog, but I th oh, we, no, we've got a news section. Very similar to how, how a lot of these others have done it. It's not huge on this and check out the uh, search. Let's type in bike. Hopefully we'll get something here. So they've got a few other things. So actually with their search result, you can see that this is done. It's a little bit funny that they have their blog post come up, but I guess that's okay. Uh, they've got a lot of accessories here. So they've got this bike rack. And this is what it's going to look like. Really does look fantastic. I like the logo at the top here. I think that looks really cool. Now this is probably going to be a little bit more for a niche, uh, you know, rather than it's not going to work for every website, but I do like it uh, if you want, uh, you know, something a little bit different. Of course, if you want to check this one out, I'll put a link in the description box below and I will do that to all of the themes as well. So there you go, guys. That was some of the best free Shopify themes for this year. I really like some of these themes. I don't think you always have to pay for a theme. It definitely can help sometimes and you get a little bit more functionality. But there are some really good free Shopify themes that uh, can work just as well as those premium and paid themes. That's it for me today, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.